Hello friends, today we will solve the next problem in interview preparation kit on HackerRank. So let's continue. We have already seen two of the problems and we were solving the warm-up challenges. So two out of four. So today we will solve the third one. And the third one is jumping on the clouds. And it's also an easy problem. And its score is 20. So we are growing successively like 10, 15 and now 20. So let's see the problem. So it says that uh, this diagram would be helpful. So there are clouds and uh, Ima is jumping on the clouds. So either she can jump one step or two steps. She cannot jump three steps. So this 0101, this denotes the types of clouds. So clouds are either of type 0 or type 1. So here in this case, uh, green denotes 0, which is safe to jump. And the red one denotes unsafe clouds, which is denoted by 1. So in this question, you will be given an array of 0, 1, so binary array. And you have to either take one step or two step. But you, you should not jump to the red cloud. And the goal here is to find the minimum number of jumps required to reach from first to last cloud so and it's given that it's always possible to win if you uh, land on red cloud you lose so it's always possible to win that means the last cloud has to be a zero or a green cloud and there are some constraints here like n the number of clouds is between 2 and 100 so this is given so let's understand this problem so uh, let's take the example of this 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the last cloud. So here you can either come from this one or this one because you can either take one step or two step. But you see that here you cannot come from this. So this is not possible. So you can only come from this. So uh, if this is steps, this is some array where we are storing the value. So we have to find the number of minimum number of steps required to reach here. So this, let's say we store the results in n. So this rn is 1 plus minimum of rn minus 1 and r n minus 2. So you can see that it's a kind of dynamic programming solution because you see here recursion. r n is solved in terms of r n minus 1 and r n minus 2. And uh, there will be overlap because while solving r n minus 1, again the same relationship will hold and it will solve for r n minus 2 and n minus 3. So here there is recursion. Uh, there is a uh, sub problems and overlap also so it's a candidate for dynamic programming uh, and you should understand that how this relationship came because you can reach the step n from step n minus 1 or n minus 2 because you can take either one step or two step so we have to find what is the solution minimum solution for either this or this so if the minimum for this is 10 but minimum for this is let's say 12 then to reach here you took 10 steps because this is the solution till this point we are solving from this side and we have solved till this point and this point so the minimum to reach here is 10 and let's say minimum to reach here is 11 so you will see that if i jump two step from 10 then i reach here in 11 step and I, if I jump from here, it will take 12 steps because the last step is the one step. So you will pick the minimum of last two. And one thing to note is that we are not allowed to reach here. As soon as I, I reach here, I lose the game. So you can initialize uh, the array. So the obviously this is the first cloud. So it's number of jumps required is zero here and here in the first step the second cloud 
there are two possibilities either this is 0 or 1 so uh, result 0 is 0 because we don't need to jump and then result 1 is equal to we are given that there are 2 to 100 so there are at max 100 jumps possible so let's initialize it to 1000 if this cloud it's better to say clouds here if c1 is equal to 1 so if this second cloud is 1 then we will add a very big number so that in the further uh, clouds we never pick this value because we were picking the minimum of previous two so if we initialize with a high value because it is one so i'm talking about this case where the second cloud is one so it's better to initialize it with a very high value and we took thousand because thousand is more than hundred and our constraint says it's maximum hundred and one if c1 equal to zero so if this is zero then it obviously it will take one step just jump from here to here but if it's one then we penalize this with a high cost thousand so now we have initialized it and now we have to solve for higher order terms so for i equal to two i less than n i plus plus so we have solved for 0 and 1 so we will solve from 2 onwards and what we will do we will see that so result will be if c i is 1 so whatever index is 1 we will initialize that with 1000 and if it's ci is 0 then we will pick this minimum of i minus 1 and i minus 2 so let's uh, write it in code and it will be more clear so we will not be using these functions So now I have got rid of the extra code and let's begin. So here we read a value n. So the input of this format, first line is the number of clouds and then in the next line we have those number of values either 0 or 1 denoting the type of cloud. So we have read n here and for the next n inputs we will iterate for n times and let's read it in a variable temp and then store it in the vector and we are passing this vector to this jumping on clouds function and this will calculate the minimum number of jumps required so let's create a vector here of the same size as this input vector so c dot size and then the result vector let's call it counts of same length and we will initialize counts 0 to 0 because there is no jump required to reach the first cloud and we had seen here that the next will be either a high value if the next value is 1 or if the next value is 0 then we will need one jump so these are the two conditions so counts 1 equal to if c1 is equal to 1 
then a number greater than 100, let's say 1000, otherwise 1. So we have initialized two values and now we will iterate for the rest. So again, if uh, the ith value is 1, then we cannot reach here. So we will put a value, very high value there. 1000. Otherwise, 1 plus. If it's not 0, then we will either come from its previous cloud or previous to previous because only two jumps are allowed at max. So 1 plus whatever is the solution of the previous two, minimum of those. So std min counts i minus 1. So whenever counts, whenever i minus 2 is 1, then we have already initialized that with a very high value. And the previous two both cannot be one because it's given that it's always possible to win. So at max, one of these will be thousand. So we are picking the min, so we will never pick that cloud. And finally, we will return the last value. N minus one. So let's run our code to check if it's correct or not. So we see that two simple test cases, these have passed. And now if you're confident, then you can submit the code. So let's submit it. And let's see how it performs on the other test cases. So we see that all the test cases have passed. So there were so I earned a star here and there are eight test cases so all of them have passed and I also earned 20 points. So you see that uh, this problem may seem uh, very lengthy but if you understand the problem well and try to simplify it you could have also solved it using it with reference uh, just recursion but uh, if the value of n grows beyond 40, 50, then uh, it will explode because we see that to find the solution of n, we need n minus 1 and n minus 2. And to find the solution of n minus 1, we need n minus 2 and n minus 3, and so on. So this entire tree will be recalculated here, n minus 2, if we don't store the value. So here we have. Uh, use the tabulation method of dynamic programming and uh, traversed and solved the problem in bottom-up manner and thus avoided any recomputation because we are saving the results in this counts array here. So that's all for this video. See you in the next video.